Hello everybody, it is the weekend. I'm at home all day, which only means one thing. Extravagant sock choices. No, not really, come back up here. No, it means that I can make a fresh video for you guys today, which is something that I hope is gonna make you feel a little bit better about your own car in ways, because believe it or not, I constantly get, and I don't understand why, loads of comments or messages or things like that that basically say things like, Oh, I wish my Civic were as clean as yours, or it's the perfect way out of Vision 1, blah, blah, blah. And I really, really appreciate those kind of compliments, I really do. But looking at all this through a camera is very, very different to being stood next to it, as you can imagine. We all know that taking pictures of your cars looks a lot better than looking at it with, with your eyes. So today I'm going to show you everything that's wrong with this that really winds me up. That I wish people didn't notice couldn't see or it just didn't have so that you can understand that there isn't such thing as a perfect car not the one that drives on the road anyway so first things first we'll start with the problem that nearly every Milano red ends up having which is the bodywork slash paintwork now you're probably looking at it now looking at all these nice shots and thinking that's as red as red can be that there's no problems at all you've got the nice accent of the livery on the back what are you complaining about well I'll show you now I do apologise because the car is actually dirty at the minute but if you get a bit closer to this wing this is the wing that came off the diesel when we had that before we had the cash guy which was in better condition than the wing that was previously on this but it had tons of these scratches which I haven't got a clue where they've come from that you can hopefully see all down there those scratches lead to things like this but now the lacquer is starting to come away all over here I've got spots of it coming away here and here as well. I've had bits that I've tried to touch up, but they just look like mounds of lacquer now. Compared to the rest, especially with the bonnet up, that looks horrific. The front bumper is still the original front bumper when I got the car, never been painted. You can tell it's never been painted because it's still riddled with stone chips. You've got points all the way down here that are all flaking and I've been having to try and touch them up to stop them from getting worse especially here under the grill which by the way all those white bits is unfortunately where I've got wax and I can't get it out because it's under the paint and the worst bit which is this bit here again you can see I've been trying to save it trying to use lacquer touch up but apparently this was from the previous owner where they said they had a fight with a wheelbarrow and lost so I think they worked in a trade and they were on sites and obviously this was his car at the time and that was the problem i've also got this here where for some reason i feel like they must have had a twig or a piece of metal or something and opened the door on it so that's constantly going to be there there's also the problem of dints which one is right here and a couple right there also a lack of peel there and there that i've tried to touch up all on the top of here that's also all disgusting not to mention this massive piece here which is covering up probably the biggest lack of peel section on this car put it this way that is a full piece of vinyl it hasn't been cut to that like to that width moving on to the rear which looks mint from a distance it's not this wing when i originally got it didn't realize and the painter didn't realize unfortunately that there's a crack here in the fiberglass that was painted over and it's been there ever since i also once got stuck in the snow with this car coming home from work one time which you'll i'll show you now that's it stuck in the snow on the hill that i was stuck on originally a lady came to push me up the hill she didn't push the boot she didn't push the lights she pushed the blade on the wing which i started to hear cracking i knew then something was going to develop from that unfortunately as it's fiberglass and now this Black appeal and bubbling is from all the stress cracks from being pushed on on that cold winter day. Don't worry, it's not only on this side, it's on both sides, all the way down and around here. And don't forget about along that back edge. Oh, lovely. Now, don't get me wrong, I love this number plate shape, but one, when you had that really hot sun, it's actually a little bit wavy now because it got just absolutely destroyed and baked. Plus, I've got the old holes where the old plate used to be, which are now just filled in and painted which don't look the best. I don't know if you'll see it on camera, but there's actually a faint line where the old number plate used to be, where the red is a lot more vibrant, because obviously that paint's been protected by the number plate that whole time. Stress cracks all around the badge. And obviously, even though we did fix it before, lights full of mist, which hopefully there will be a video on that where we correct that because that's why I got 
this new used one recently because my other one had a crack in it so we're going to see if we can reseal that and get rid of all the mould that's around it as well that's nice and green disgusting horrendous upsetting moving on to the wheels which probably the best thing need condition wise on this is the tyre try and look past the fact that they're still a little bit dirty from the drive back from JPS but these are meant to be a glitter white wheel which they are glittery if you have a closer look they've got little bits of glitter in them which when there's no light in them are just pieces of black and because they're pyramid shaped these uh, flakes not actually flat pieces that are in the paint you can feel them and they're rough every wheel's also probably got a little bit of curbing on them I actually dropped this wheel once that's where it's been touched up with a paint that doesn't even match also wheel nuts are rusty not red anymore and since we refurb the calipers the lettering's coming off and as we went on track at Croft after they were done the lacquer is pretty much blistered and baked at least they run all right <laughs> Now that that's the exterior done and I've re-traumatised myself that much that I probably won't sleep tonight Let's have a look under the bonnet Well, 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 well Not all is what it seems under here either Now you might be thinking, look at those colours Look at that HKS intake right there Sat next to that K20 engine But not all is as it seems in here starting with the intake manifold which is in a lovely candy red which i absolutely love the color but as you get closer you can see a bit more detail it looks a bit like it's a wrinkle finish it wasn't a wrinkle finish it started like this nice and gloss but then either high temperature or extremely low temperature and quite a lot of powder coat to a point where it's dripping off the bottom of this obviously not physically dripping now there's, there was just a lot of it it's developed some slight cracks in places which I know other people that have had a powder coat and they've been fine but unfortunately I've just been unlucky and we have developed some cracks and what's happened is it's just engaged all these air blisters to start coming through as you can see all down the front of there as well it's absolutely covered so that is a bummer luckily it still looks all right unless you look too close I just say it's a wrinkle finish <laughs> HKS intake with the MJC hoses banging but there are problems this is a used kit that I got so there are scratches in places that I couldn't get this kit powder coated as you can see right there another thing unfortunately is that this piece of the battery casing is kind of sat up against it so it's just const it's just a thing that's in my mind that I know that it's going to rub away and leave a mark the other thing with it being a used kit is a lot of hoses didn't come that had already been deleted that is, a, is some kind of water hose from a Land Rover from my dad's work so that doesn't look great that's a dog barking that you can hear and I don't think that the heat shield is installed 100% 100, 100 correctly I feel like there's meant to be some kind of spaces in here there's the bolts that put them down I think they're tegular ones or maybe not I think I've got some tegular ones that are meant to be in there I don't know but because I don't think it's 100% correctly spaced the edge of the mushroom end sits against that rubber there so if I move that you can see there's an indentation which is not how it's meant to sit you've also got rust here and rusting down here which to be fair I could replace this clamp and get rid of that but these are still issues I actually forgot with this grill that red pinstripe there is painters tape it wouldn't come off without lifting the paint so it, it was clear coated on I will say the chap was a close friend I do appreciate what he's done for me he has looked good for a long time and it was very cheap to do for me but that now is cracking underneath and it's just going to get worse now you're going to see in one of these and 8th gen Civics never mind it being a Type R has been renowned to being for the age of the car one of the nicest places you can sit You've got a lovely surrounding dashboard with all your dials in the middle that are all plinked out really nicely. You've got everything that's colour coded. You've got your nice Type R seats. This didn't come out of the factory yesterday, as we know, with it being a 2007. Oh, that's another thing to complain about. Didn't know about the diffs in the later models. Doesn't have a diff. Handles as good as it can without a diff. So on a track, especially in a tight corner, that one wheel is in a definite peel. But we'll gloss over that for now. First, come and take a look what's wrong in here. Now before we talk about in here, I just want to quickly talk to you about the fact that my phone has just let me know for two minutes ago that there was a vibration. 
which was me getting in this car to film that previous bit that we've just seen. That gives me a good opportunity to mention today's sponsor, which is CarLock. Now, if you haven't heard about CarLock, it's pretty much the device that's letting me know that my car is safe at all times. Any vibrations, as it's just told you then. When we changed the battery in a previous video, it let me know that the device was disconnected. It also lets me know when the engine starts, or if it's been taken and there's any movement anywhere, so I know exactly where it goes. And I mean I know exactly where it goes because it tracks the car 24 seven for me. So if it did get taken, I'd be able to see exactly where it was. Now if you want that peace of mind so that you can feel safe about going to sleep basically with your car outside at night when it's your pride and joy like this is for me. I know I haven't made it out like it is but it really is. Then use the code FNLUCL10 when purchasing the device which is in the link down below. That'll get you 10% off the device and definitely, definitely use that code again when you're signing up to their subscription so you get one, you already get an extra month, you get a month free as a trial, which is mint. With my code, you get an extra two weeks on top of that, so you're getting six weeks worth of protection for free. So big thanks to them for sponsoring the video. Let's carry on with everything that's wrong in here. <laughs> now I will say it does need a clean in here as well. Gotta need a camera with a wider angle lens so you can see what's going on. But as you can see, and it's probably better on the passenger seat, all the Al Alcantara that's there is pretty much, I say Alcantara, suede, I don't know what it's gonna be shredded this is absolutely vile wait till you see this file foul and vile i connected those together that's all horrid scratched to bits it was like that when i got the car that display is all scratched to bits but i don't want to polish it like some people do because the blue line you can see there is the anti-glare surface that's on top of that so don't want to do that so it is what it is nrg gear knob weighted which i absolutely love love the color of it and everything they don't actually do these anymore but it is chipping in places especially when i'm wearing a wedding ring all the time and too much vigorous pressure uh it can either snap the inside which i've done previously and it, a, lot, a lot of the time it does come undone. Plus the red suede that I put on that was painstaking is getting really worn as well, so that's annoying. The most annoying thing is I've got a short shifter on this, the RHT one, which has been absolutely brilliant. It's perfect for what it needs to be, especially with it being so cheap. The annoying thing at the minute is the two, there's two little clips that go over the ball joint that goes on the bottom of this. And those clips are now, when I move this, Sometimes one of them comes away and it makes that click. You can feel that click. It's not a problem. There's never any chance of the linkage coming off or anything like that. It's just really, really annoying. Like that. And when you're in a car where the gearbox doesn't like to find any gears whatsoever, especially at high, at high revs, that click makes you think it's in. It's not in. Crashing gears. So that's just a problem with mine. I think it's a bit specific to me that not a lot of people will have, but mine at the minute, I'm gonna have to put a little tire up around those. I think it's because I've been taking them on and off that many times. So there's less tension on them, but yeah, the synchros are buggered. The gears are probably wrecked. That's something else that needs doing. Oh, can you also remember when we fixed that digital display with the soldering that I didn't do all the way across? And that's now a problem again. And not to mention back there in the boot, when we did the boot leak repair, it was on the diesel, which I no longer have. So this still leaks like a swimming pool all winter. Now I hope that everything that I've mentioned in this video has shown you that one, my car specifically isn't perfect, and two, no cars are perfect. But it, unless they're a show car that never sees the light of day and gets trailered everywhere, which that has its purpose, but if you can't do that, don't worry about that. Regardless of everything that I've mentioned with this today, I am still proper in love with this car. And I don't see, unless it's a financial situation, I don't see myself ever getting rid of it because I've had too many adventures and gone on too far a journey. Be it be under the car in the pouring down rain, or getting up at five in the morning to go to a show, or meeting some of you guys at shows, or driving it on track with my dad for the first time like i love how it drives i love the overall image of the car i think it's perfect in my eyes because it's how i've done it and that's what you need to try and keep in mind with your own cars where god i've had this car for god it must be like nearly six years now and there's people that have done more to their cars in half a year and it's all down to spare time hard work and well, no, I wouldn't say hard work because it's all down to spare time and budget because you could be working just as hard 
but it takes a bit longer. You don't have to be up there with everybody else. All you need is something that represents you and you get out every day and look back, back at it and think, it's cool I drive that every day. Now it's got a bit deep, but I hope that that's beneficial in a way. <laughs> it hopefully made you feel a bit better for the rest of the day. And hopefully made you feel a bit better moving forward with things that you might be doing with, with your car, be it one of these or something else. So on that note, I am gonna end the video here guys. So thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel uh, if you do find any of these videos enjoyable, interesting, funny, useful, anything. I really appreciate it. Pop something in the comments below if you want to about things that niggle you about your car but you still love driving it anyway. If you know somebody that's a bit down in the dumps about theirs then send give this video a share to them and be like look look at this loser in his flaky red civic he don't care now this should you now this should you so until next time guys like you always say enjoy the rest of your day bye i'm gonna i can't chop so